thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa with 1S, but you can call me Mel. I just wanted to say, hope you're staying well. Hope you're staying safe, no matter where you are in this world. I am super excited that you are here because this will be my first ever houseplant tour. Um, I started being a plant mom um, about March last year, so I never really did a houseplant tour. But this year, I'm like, you know what? I want to share my collection now at the beginning of 2021. And then this way I can review in end of spring or summer and see how much growth my plants have done, how many plants I've bought from now till uh, the summer. So stick around if you want to see my plants. Give it a thumbs up if you do like this video. Subscribe if you want to stick around and see some other houseplant tours. And yes, so let's go see my plants. To start off, we are in my dining area. This is an east facing window and I have two alocasias at the end of the table closer to the window. This one is an alocasia elephant ear. We bought it back in the summer. It was in front of a Walmart. You know how they have the garden centers um, in front of the grocery stores for a few months. That's where we found this guy for $10 and it was a great find. It was when we first started getting into alocasia. So this one has two leaves and then it just lost the leaf because it just gave us this one. It's kind of cool how alocasia does that. It sacrifices the oldest leaf when you have a new leaf growing. So this is the newest guy. He's been growing for the last month. So this is a winter baby uh, and hopefully it will do well and grow hopefully bigger than these two. So we will see. And beside our alocasia elephant ear, we have an alocasia amazonica, also known as the alocasia poly. It's also such a beautiful plant. Its leaves come in as this dark, dark, deep green. Uh, and then the veins come in as this very light, almost neon lime color. And they're very, very defined. And then the back of the leaves come in as this maroon deep color, which is super cool. It's almost like a dinosaur type of leaf or plants, which is pretty cool. And this year, this winter, it did bloom for us, which was awesome. When it was first blooming, I didn't know what it was. We looked it up because I didn't know whether or not to cut it off or if it was a leaf or whatever it was, right? So we looked it up and it said, yes, it was blooming. So we let it be. And I did post a picture on my Instagram. If you just want to check out that picture, I'll leave my tag right here. I posted a picture of when it was in full bloom. Super cool. So now I know what to look for when it is blooming. Uh, so yeah, so this is just another one of our alocasias in my collection. So in this corner, I have one of my Brazil philodendron plants. It is on a rustic paint ladder that we found in our garage. So of course, I decided to reuse it and use it as a plant stand. She's loving this spot. She's definitely vining down the ladder and growing pretty quickly. It is one of my smaller ones. Later on, I'll show you more of my mature Brazil philodendron. But yeah, so I have her in this cover pot that I found at the dollar store and on this ladder in the corner. So it just makes a cute little statement on the side here um, just to fill up the space. And it does get light throughout the morning and afternoon. So yeah, I'm pr pretty much gonna keep her here until I see that she's not liking it. But yeah, so this is one of my Brazil philodendron plants. And here is my variegated peace lily. Um, I love this plant because it tells you when it needs to be watered. So when the leaves really drop, that means it's sad. So when you water it, it naturally will start perking up again. When I first bought this plant, I wasn't too sure about it because it almost looks dried or half dead because the older leaves are more wrinkled. Um, so yeah, so I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it looks aesthetically pleasing, but as time went on, I noticed that the leaves tend to smoothen out just a bit and then you get a lot more of that white variegation. I have her close to the east facing window as well. And since I've moved her closer to the window, she is giving me more of that white variegation. So I do love this plant. It's an easy care plant and it just really fills up the space. Um, it's definitely grown since last summer and I have her in a terracotta pot and on this plant stand I think she looks super cute. So yeah, so this is my variegated peace lily. 
I will also insert some pictures on the screen of some up close variegated leaves. And here is my fiddle leaf fig, also known as the ficus lorata. Now, I've heard stories about this plant, not a lot of people have good experience with it, but she's doing well for me. I have her close to an east facing window. I let her dry between waterings. Right now I'm probably watering her every seven to 10 days, but I do always check with the moisture meter. And I clean her leaves probably every three weeks, but I also check up on her when I do water the plants. So I don't know, I haven't had any crazy stories about a fail with this plant. At the beginning, she did have root rot when I bought her from Walmart, so I had to cut the top because the growth wasn't staying. But since then, she has put out a new branch and growing, I see, I think it's six or seven leaves. So I don't know, it really depends. Uh, she hasn't had any other bad experiences with me, but overall, a good plant, and I have her in a basket I just propped her up so that the leaves just are over the lid of the basket and I have her in the corner here and again it's just a good statement piece a decorative piece uh, some plant decor so yeah that is my ficus lorata this is the third allocation that we have in our collection and of course it is the biggest allocation that we have it is called the allocation metalhead super cool plant it definitely makes a statement in this room the top of the leaves are dark uh, deep green and then the bottom of the leaves are a dark deep maroon color and of course the leaves are huge as you see here this is the oldest leaf i believe and then this is the newest leaf here. It actually just sacrificed a leaf for this one. And again, like I said, it's pretty cool that the allocation should do that. And in the pot, we actually have a small one too. So come March or April, I definitely have to repot this plant because it is definitely growing bigger very quickly and the roots are coming out from the bottom. But yeah, so this is the allocation metalhead, really cool plant. Now this wall in my house does have openings. So there's arch openings all across this wall and some of the openings actually have some lights on it. So as you see here, there's a light here and of course I have a plant on the ledge. So I am using it as a plant decor section uh, plant shelf. So the first plant I have in this uh, wall is a Diffenbachia dumb cane and it's growing pretty consistent. There's always a new leaf and I haven't moved it. It's been in that opening with the light and it seems to be enough for the plant. There's also a double door on the other side there, which helps to provide a little bit more light. So yeah, a nice cute plant and it grows up. So it helps with filling in that space. And each plant is in a farmhouse style basket. This one has a saucer at the bottom of the pot. So I just plop it in there and then I put it into the opening. Now the next plant I have is a Aglionema evergreen plant. I'm not too sure what variety it is, but I love the pattern on it. It does have more of a thicker, durable leaf. Uh, and it's also in one of these baskets. There's actually two plants in one, so I could probably separate it, but I just like the full look of this plant. And it does again grow up, so it is filling up the space very nicely. And yeah, I love the pattern. Now the next plant I have is a Peperomia obtusifolia. Again, another plant that grows up and it's filling that space very nice and it's almost like it frames the plant, which is pretty cool. The leaves are a circle shape, which is kind of funny. And again, I think there's two plants in one, but there's a lot of grow points. I probably need to stake it, add some sticks so it just stays up. But again, a very nice, cool plant. Now one more plant that I have in this arch open wall is a Sansevieria or snake plant moonshine. Very nice plant, very elegant. Um, it's very different from the other snake plants. 
It's more of a silvery green color. And as you see, there's one plant here and then a baby plant grew on the side. Um, so yeah, so I think this is also a nice plant to have in this section because it is growing nice and tall. Uh, and again, doing really well with the light provided from the um, lights that are attached to the wall. So yeah, so that is another section of my house. Now we are in my kitchen, so I do have a few plants in here. Just to start off, I have this Jacenia Janet Craig. This plant, it's a great uh, staple in your collection, um, and it makes a statement piece on my island. I just placed it in this covered pot that looks like a tree stump that I got from the dollar store. I placed it in here, and I just leave it on my island. And behind me, you will see a few other ones. So on top of my fridge, I have this golden pothos uh, doing well. So this is an easy care plant. It doesn't need much light unless you want it to grow a lot faster, but it's doing great on top of my fridge. And the goal is to have them trailing on each side of my fridge. So uh, almost there, this one's starting to trail, this one's starting to trail. Uh, but yeah, so a nice, again, staple plant, uh, easy care, especially for this area. Then I have this uh, mixture of cuttings. So I have uh, some golden pothos and I have some marble queen pothos. And again, it is trailing on the side of my fridge, which is super cool. It is another easy care plant, which is why I have it here in the kitchen. Um, I don't necessarily want it to grow super fast, but it is getting enough light with the light that we have here in the kitchen and also the window that's over the sink. Um, and again, I have it in a Dollarama cover pot and it just again, nice statement piece in my kitchen and it just fills up the space over the fridge. So yeah, so this one has definitely grown a lot more um, since I've moved into this house, so a few months back and I'm excited for it to continue to grow on the side of my fridge. And lastly, I have a few more plants in my kitchen just over the sink. I have these two spider plants hanging from this pole that I have here, no pun intended, hanging spider plants. Uh, so this one uh, I was actually gonna lose and it was going to die on me. Although these are easy care and common plants, I just wasn't paying attention to it as much as I should have. It was drying up, losing leaves, and now that I have it here, it is thriving again and nice and green. New growth is already growing. And this guy, there is now two plants in there, so I think there is a plant that grew off of the original uh, cutting that I had in there, which is really nice, and they're getting um, west light. So this is a west facing window. So this is more of the afternoon uh, slash evening light. Uh, but these guys, they don't need much light, um, but obviously it will help with the growth. And then you may see I have two avocado uh, seeds here. Last year I grew quite a few avocado plants. So I'm just letting these dry so that I can peel off the skin and put them in bags so that I can grow a couple of other avocado plants this year. So yeah, so that is my other section where I place plants in my kitchen. And just one more plant that I have here on the main floor of my house is in the guest bathroom. So I do have this Sansevieria snake plant or Dracenia laurentii or laurenti, and it is in this paper bag. Um, my mother-in-law got it for me on Amazon, so I could link them in the description, but they're super cute. Uh, it just works as a cover pot, but more of a farmhouse style look. And this Sansevieria is doing well in this corner just because again it does get a light from the west window that we have here in the bathroom and there's two little guys growing on this plant so it's obviously happy so I am not going to move it unless it tells me otherwise that it doesn't like this spot. So that is another plant that I have here on the main floor. A snake plant, trifasciata, um, Laurentii or Laurenti. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but it definitely makes a cute decor piece here in the bathroom. 